so hi guys uh, in this section we will see about nla editor and action editor so nla editor means non linear action editor and we have one more editor called action editor okay so those two editors can be used to create animation strips like uh, we have a sound strips right in the previous session sound session and all we have seen about the sound strips the same thing uh, we can create animation strips so in each every animation strips we will get some different actions and we can store that one as a uh, strips and we can assign that data to this object and all so let's see how to uh, get that nl editor how it works and all we see so right now i got a timeline over here so at frame number 1 i'm just setting a key for this uh, cube and then go to frame number 20 moving the cube in x axis so set a key on rotation okay so now we got this kind of uh, animation data so here in uh, right side panel over here you can see on the outliner under the cube node we got animation side animation node over here some cube action that is something related to action editor and nl editor okay so that's why they have given these two nodes over here so now i'm just going to open a uh, non linear animation which is like nl okay so for to get that just click on this uh, editor uh, menu over here and then go for non linear animation So now we got that action. See over here the same name, cube uh, animation dot zero zero one. The same thing. It's displayed over here. Okay, okay, fine. Now we need one more editor. That is here. This one is like uh, non-linear animation, and this one is going to be drop sheet. From here in drop sheet, you can find out that uh, list menu. Just click on that. And go to action editor. So it opens an action editor. Now okay. so right now we have a uh, three different uh, editors over here playback non linear on the middle and at the top it was an action editor fine so we have that uh, cube animation right on the timeline we hand meter so we have seen only these two keys and over here in the action editor you can see like something similar to the drop sheet uh, keys the circular keys like that okay so in this action editor only we can uh, animate the data and then we can uh, create a strips okay so how to create a strip and all so for that already we have set a key from frame number 1 and then 20 right and this action is also mentioned over here see on the right side outliner cube action 001 i'm just going to rename that one as x axis so here also you can see that one x axis got renamed Over well, here, you can find out uh, in NL, NL editor, uh, sorry, in action editor, we got the stash button. Okay, so if you click on that stash, it will create a clip over here. So here on the cube object, if you expand uh, this one, uh, the clip over well, here, you can find action stash. Okay, so the x axis over here. Right now, if I uh, play this one, you can find out like uh, the object is selected. There is no keys displaying on the timeline. and over here also it's nothing displayed action editor everything come into a the strip animation strip this is uh, animation strip so right now we have the data but it is not displaying so to activate that data you need to enable this star okay nl track is only available okay just like that click on that one so now you can get that particular data over here okay now one a particular animation strip one particular movement has been recorded like a one animation strip and we named that one as x axis okay now i'm going to add one more uh, data for this one this cube so i'm just turning off this cube object right now and you can see like the cube is like placed somewhere else it's not in zero zero position so i'm just uh, resetting the position by pressing the n key and uh, over here right click and reset all to default values so it will come back to the original position for it um while using the character poses and all we can use the post manager and we can apply the poses okay, so coming back to this uh, center position i'm just going to add one more uh, strip i'm just going to click on 
create a new action over here on the action editor over here you can see this button over here right so just simply click on this one new action and you can see uh, on outliner also one action node has been added over here i'm just going to give this one as z axis okay so for this one i'm just going to give an animation so press i key the location and going to 20th frame again location and at the 10th frame i'm just going to animate this object in z axis okay and inserting a key so right now our cube is like going on up and down axis okay fine now we have created uh, an animation data for this one so again the same concept just click on the stash so it will push that particular clip into a animation strip over here see over here we have seen animation stash 001 which is having z axis and here it is x axis okay so like that you can create any number of actions different actions and you can save that action as a animation strip so okay okay so uh, currently i don't want this uh, timeline and also i don't want this anim action editor okay fine now we will see like how to blend that data i am just going to blend these two together right now i have uh, removed all those uh, things right because once if it is pushed on stash that actual timeline data it will get lost because everything is come come as a strip over here you need to activate that one then only that action over here we need to enable this cube uh, checkbox over there right but right now this x axis is going on and over here when i click on this X axis over here, this particular layer, this strip is now activated. And if I using this one, the taxi strip will be activated. So we have a uh, two animation strips over here. Okay, fine. So for editing all those NLA tracks, we need to add a track NLA track over here. Right? Now these are all like action stash tracks. Okay, so I'm just going to add uh, add tracks. So once if I we want to add track over here you can see like nla track so in this track only we are going to add uh, these animation strips and we are going to manipulate uh, the mixing or blending or okay so i'm just renaming the uh, layer over here by double click and then going to give like uh, x axis movement okay so i have created one track over here so just click on the track it is highlighted just go to add menu and then add action strip so here you can find out like we have created uh, some actions right so we saved that data as like x axis and z axis so for x axis moment i'm just clicking adding this uh, x axis over here zero or else i'm want to start from frame number one okay fine and adding one more track for uh, z axis over here so just click on add and tracks above selected and in this one i'm just going to add z axis moment okay so add it over here select a track go to add add action strip over here it will be like z axis okay fine now uh, if you want you can uh, keep these clips or else you can just remove this one if you directly at the beginning itself if you delete this one these clips will go off okay so right now uh, this one will be saved so just simply uh, delete that one so now we have this data over here so let's check our z axis movement it's working fine and uh, x axis movement it's working fine x axis and z axis okay so let us see like how to blend these two datas how to blend these two so just go to z axis over there and press the n key like inside this nl editor so you'll get uh, this menu over here select the strip over here z axis z axis movement we'll get all those details over here like start frame end frame for the strip 
and something called uh, uh, auto blend in and out so this action will blend the data with the bottom track so enable that one auto blend in and out okay so now we have enabled that option and let us play see there is a no blending happening like that right why because we are having the blending option like a replace if you give a combine and also yeah after giving combine you need to enable these two tracks right right now only this track got activated so just simply click outside over there so both the tracks will be selected you need to click somewhere over here on the side okay so now you can see we have a x axis movement as well as the z axis movement so right now our object got blended the, it acts like an animation layer okay so here we have different options combined also previously it was like replace option right so if it is replaced means only z axis the topmost layer that one will be activated it will be replaced with any other animations so if you give a combine it will blend with the bottom layers or here like that okay fine now i just want to edit this layer like in z axis right now i have only uh, the location have been animated now i just want to add some uh, rotation on this screen so how to achieve that how to edit that one we have got that data as a stick so how to edit that data so we have that option also just select that clip and just go to the edit menu over here on the nl editor and we have option just go through this one start tweaking strip actions and the shortcut key is like tab so once if you click on that one you can see the the color icon got changed to uh, green color which means now it's in editing mode so i'm just opening our uh, dope sheet or else you can uh, open your timeline over here so now i'm just going to pick the data so here previously we have a given a keys only for the location so i'm just adding a key for a rotation and coming back over here like this okay at the ending portion over here i'm just going to give a rotation um, x axis on 80 degree just enter and then insert rotation key so we have a action like this see right now it was added and you may have a confusion why that movement is happening like that here if i turn off this x axis see only this particular over here on the uh, nl editor if you notice only the z axis right now i have activated okay so the object is just moving on the z axis i just given a rotation on the starting and ending frame on 80 degrees so right now the data goes like this edited data so if i enable this option over here at the bottom okay both the data will get mixed and then we have the edited data also on the z axis so right now our action it will be like this okay so again if you press the tab key or else just go for this one edit this one tab so now that action got stored in this particular strip so like that we can blend the data to different data or any different data okay uh, so in the next session i will explain about uh, characters blender characters and blender rigs and how to animate those uh, rigs and uh, see you in the next session thank you